it doesn't look like the pad's totally wet until you touch it. Every part of it's totally soaked. And that's all four pads all the way around. All right, and there's the air temp right now. It's pushing 90, just over 30 Celsius. We're still getting 64 out of this thing. I think it's so awesome when you can just use a solar panel and run both the fan and the pump. So the whole thing's basically running for free. All you gotta do is put water in there and you get free cool air. You can't beat that. If you ever paid an electric bill in the summer, it's AC. <laughs> Alright, so check this out. I wanna show you a quick comparison between the five gallon bucket and the EVAP air cooler I made like five years ago and the new one. This thing blows away, that sucker. This is good, this is awesome. By the way, one thing about these a lot of people don't realize is not only does it cool the air coming out of there, but because the water, a lot of it doesn't totally evaporate and it just goes to the bottom so it'll go around and around several times. The water in the tub gets just as cool as the air, sometimes even cooler. Like it's putting out 64 but the water is like 60 degrees right now. Started at 80, down to 58 degrees. Yep, 58, maybe even 57. Beautiful. That's awesome. So 63 degree air, 64 degree air. Water temp around 57 now. Man, you can't beat that. Good way to chill water if you need cold water for some reason. By the way, that's how they do the two-stage evap cooling, or one of the ways. You use a unit like this totally outside. This will produce the chilled water, and then you pump this chilled water through a heat exchanger, like in my last AC cold water air cooler video. Except instead of using ice or just cold tap water or well water, you can actually use this unit to produce the cold water then you drop the vinyl pipes in here and push it through the heat exchanger. And then you pump that unit into your house and leave this cooled moist air outside. Then just using evap cooling you can actually get just the dry air in your house. It's pretty cool. Let me get that out of there so you can see it. But it should be under 60. Yeah, that looks like 58. 58, 59. Sweet. That's totally awesome. Hope you can see that okay. Quick talk through on the build again. It's just basically cube style with the half inch and the three-way couplers on each corner. And you got the holes drilled underneath, about eight or nine of them, spaced three-quarter inch apart, one-sixteenth inch. You got the pads on all four sides, about 15 inches long. A little water pump in the bottom, pumping the water through the frame, and down through each of the four pads. You can see it coming out at the bottom. It's like that on all four sides. Then you just have a small radiator fan underneath this board right here and that's pulling the air up and out equally through all four pads and out through the vent that's going to be much more manageable I'm sticking with the 2000 CFM fan instead of the 3000 so I dropped it down 6 inches now the pad from the wood to the top right there is 12 inches instead of 18. So one third off the height of the pad and the fan going from the 3000 to 2000. So that'll be perfect because originally it was designed for up to a 3000er.
three-way couplers, eight 11 and a half inch pieces, and four of the 26 inch pieces. That makes a total cube width of about 14 inches and height of about 28. And again, for the shorter build, take six inches off the pad length and six inches off the vertical posts. So those posts would be 20 inches instead of 26. Okay, then I took the top part off and drilled 1 16th inch holes, spaced evenly all the way around, about 8 to 10 per piece of pipe. Okay, now to add the pump, just take a T and a plastic hose barb, screw it together, and we'll cut a section and drop it on. Alright, just to see how it works, I'll add some water and we'll do a quick experiment. Beautiful. Alright, that's cool. Now let's add the pads. Just take some plain thin wire. I'm using the coated stuff. Work it through and twist it off. I'll do four total per post. All right, now this part, fan on the bottom, duct on the top. Okay, there it is. That's it, then you just drop this on. Or you attach the flexible hose here. That one is expandable to 8 feet. They got them on Amazon for about 10 bucks. Then these wires, straight to the solar panel. So nothing in between, just goes from the solar panel up to here. Nice got him twisted on. Here's one last shot of the outdoor temp. And is that 63, 64? Yep.